Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine and I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell beside it so that you would be notified every time I upload a new video. For today's video guys, I will be doing a makeup tutorial on this bronzy event makeup look. So if you want to know how I did this and what products I used to achieve it, then just keep on watching. Before you attend any occasion guys, make sure that you've already prepped your skin, um, you've already exfoliated your skin, you've already applied face mask, sheet mask, um, your moisturizer, and your eye cream. I've already did that guys, so now we can move on to the application of makeup. As you can see guys, I've already filled in my eyebrows. If you want to know my eyebrow routine, I'll link it in the description box. I'm going to start off with my eyes. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20, I will be using this as my eyeshadow primer. And then, I'm going to blend this out using a small detail brush so that I can have an even base for eyeshadow. If you have um, eyeshadow primer, you can definitely just use that instead of concealer. Now that we've already applied the eyeshadow base, guys, I'm just going to use some powder. To set the concealer that we use as eyeshadow primer and then I will be applying this to my lids up to my brow bone. This is the Nichido Final Powder in the shade Ivory Glow. For eyeshadow, I will be taking my Morphe 35R palette using this shade right here with a fluffy brush. I'm going to be applying this as my transition shade on my upper crease. Using a clean blending brush guys, make sure you diffuse the edges of this shade to make it look a bit more blended. Grabbing a skinnier brush, I'm going to take this shade right here and apply this to my crease as well as to my outer corner. Make sure you're applying this a bit lower than the first shade that we applied guys. Um, that way you can create that gradient effect. From the first shade to the um, second shade that we use and then I'm just going to go back to the first brush that I use and blend out the edges to remove any harsh lines if you can see this part right here guys it's a bit messy but we can fix that when we apply the foundation as well as the concealer so don't worry about it too much because we are going to clean that up later on Grabbing another blending brush, I'm going to take this shade right here and then I'm going to be applying this on the outer corners of my eyes to darken up the eye look as well as to define the eyes even more. Make sure you apply just a little bit at a time guys so that it's not going to be hard for you to blend it out later on. Now grabbing the clean blending brush that we used earlier, we are going to use this again to blend out any harsh lines, especially that we apply the darker shade. Now, taking my Morphe 35T palette, I'm going to take this shade right here and apply this all over my lid. I'm not going to take this shade all across my lid, guys. I'm going to up about um, more than halfway and then I'm going to use the other side of the shader brush that I'm using and then blend out the edges where the darker shade that we applied earlier as well as the bronze shade that we are applying now meet and then it looks much more blended. 
going back to the Morphe palette, I'm going to take the darkest shade that we used and re-intensify my outer corners as well as my crease. This will help to balance out the bronze shade that we applied on our lids as well as the rest of the eyes. And then again, blend out the edges. Taking a dark brown gel liner, this one is from LA Girl. I'm just going to define my lash line. And then I'm going to smudge this out so that it creates a soft um, liner effect. I don't want to use black gel liner because I feel like it looks a bit more harsh. So I decided to just go with dark brown. That way, it's still dark. But it's not as harsh as a black eyeliner does. I'm not going to wing this out guys. I'm just using this liner to help me define my lashes more. It's okay if you don't create a very neat line. Because we are going to um, smudge this out. So I'm just going to take another flat angle brush. And then I'm just going to smudge the gel liner out so that it creates a more softer effect. But still, it defines our lashes. Now I'm just going to reapply the lid shade to re intensify the bronze. Now I'm going to apply my mascara as well as my false eyelashes off cam. But I will be using the L'Oreal Miss Manga um, Mascara as well as the Glad King False Eyelashes in the Style 13. I am done applying the false eyelashes as well as the mascara guys. Now I will be moving on to the face. To prime my skin, I will be using the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base in the shade Radiant Pink. I will be applying this all over my face just a little bit. As you guys can see... This creates a very nice luminous um, finish to the skin as well as it hydrates the skin. So if you have um, dry skin, you can definitely try this product out. To minimize my pores, I will be applying the Benefit Professional on my T-zone as well as the sides of my nose. In events where you are going to be in front of the camera most of the time as well as in front of many lights, I recommend you trying out the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is very nice especially for flash photography. It doesn't give um, flashback or white cast when you're taking photos. So I definitely recommend this if you haven't tried already. For today, I will be mixing it with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Because this foundation is very long lasting, which is perfect for events, especially if you are going to dance all night, if you are going to move all night, this is perfect to um, add a little bit of longevity to your foundation. My shade in the Makeup Forever Ultra HD is Y365 and my shade for the L'Oreal Infallible is 104 or Golden Beige. I will be mixing this at the back of my hand. And then apply this to my skin. After distributing the foundation using a foundation brush, now I'm going to go ahead and grab a beauty sponge and further blend the foundation out. For concealer, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. And then I'm going to now apply the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 to further lighten up or highlight my face. And then I'm going to blend this out using a sponge. Now to set everything, I will be using the same loose powder that we used earlier the Nichido Final Powder in the shade Ivory Glow. I'm going to apply this on places where I applied some concealer. I'm going to bake the areas where I apply some concealer and then later on, I will be blending this out to set the rest of my face. 
while my face is baking guys i'm going to contour using the sleek makeup contour kit in the shade light i'm going to take this shade right here and then i will be applying this to the hollows of my cheeks make sure you apply this with a flimsy brush guys that way your bronzer doesn't look as harsh or um, it looks a bit more blended than using a denser brush. Now to make the contour more defined, I'm going to take the same loose powder and bake underneath my contour. Just to highlight this part and make the contour more defined. I'm now going to blend out the baking that we have on our face. I'm just going to use a powder brush and then I'm going to blend out the powder and use this to set the rest of my face. For blush, I highly recommend the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. They last a long time on the cheeks. For today, I will be using these two right here this is called icon and then this one is called concept i think the mixture of these two blushes is perfect for our eye look so i'm going to mix these two shades and then apply this to my cheeks and then i'm going to use my powder brush just to blend this out a bit for today's highlighter guys, I will be using the Pixi Glowy Powder in the shade Santorini Sunset. I'm going to use a small face brush to apply this to my cheekbones as well as the tops of my eyebrows and the bridge of my nose. And then a little bit on my cupid's bow. To finish off my eyes, I'm just going to go back to the Morphe 35R palette. Using a um, pencil brush, I'm going to take the transition shade that we used earlier. And then I'm going to run this all across my lower lashes. Now I'm going to take this shade right here with another pencil brush. I'm going to be applying this on the outer corners of my lower lashes. And then I'm just going to blend out the edges. Now taking a very very small angle brush, I'm going to be applying this shade right here directly to where my lashes grow. And then grabbing the same highlighter that we used for our face, I'm going to be applying this on the inner corners of my eyes as my inner corner highlight. I'm just going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes. Last step guys is lips. I'm going to first line my lips using this lip liner from Detail Makeover in the shade um, Daryl. Then for my lipstick, I will be using this Kat Von D Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. So that is it for today's video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this makeup tutorial on this event makeup that I did for you today. If you have any suggestions for future videos, don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!